Urban Roots exists for a number of different reasons. Um, we saw a lot of green space in the city that wasn't being used, so environmentally there was a lot of reasons to create a farm in the city. Um, we also saw a lot of issues with food access. Um, and then we know that healthy food is a vital part of healthy communities. So all of that kind of converged together into creating Urban Roots London. But what that also converges on is a topic called environmental intersectionality. And what that means is the intersection of race, economic equality, as well as social justice converge into food justice. So the way that we kind of look at things is that there are three or four main categories of costs when it comes to food. There's the economic cost, but there's also the health as well as the social and the environmental cost when it comes to growing food. What we really care about is that when we grow our food, we're factoring in all of these things. When you look at areas that have limited access to fresh food, you're also sometimes looking at areas that have um, often marginalized communities. And when you look at the whole global scheme of that, it just often means that people aren't being taken care of and they're not getting to eat really good food that turns into a human rights issue. Um, everyone deserves access to really good food and we want to make sure that that's a possibility with what we do here. There are a lot of complexities when it comes to traditional agriculture and growing food in general. Um, when you look at the price of food, you often will go to the grocery store and see price of something like uh, a dollar apple versus going to a farmer's market when maybe that same apple is $3. And you might be thinking that it just makes more sense to buy the one from the grocery store. Often that one from the grocery store is something that's been imported from a different country or from the United States. And things get complicated because we have things like migrant workers um, or folks who just aren't getting paid enough to, for the work that they're doing. Those all turn into what we call hidden costs of food while the actual price to pay for it isn't as much as something grown on a farm where people are being paid a living wage and being taken care of, um, it still has a cost, and that cost is often the exploitation of people, um, it's the health of the workers, and it's the health of the environment. Um, when you are growing food, it's really difficult. It's a hard thing to do. You have pests to deal with, you have nature um, throwing you heat waves and droughts and just a myriad of rain, and you don't know how to plan for it. When you farm in a way that uses pesticides or chemicals that really make it easier to grow food, the cost of that ends up being on the land. Um, and to have a relationship with the land means to take care of it and to know that it's taking care of you. When you put a lot of things that aren't healthy for the soil in that, that turns into just not as healthy food. There's a thing called nutrient density. And when you have food that isn't grown well, it's nutrient, it's not as nutrient dense as when something is grown in healthy living soil. Things that are grown in healthy living soil are often grown in a way that's called regenerative agriculture. Um, that includes composting, that means including ways to grow that take care of the plants, the animals, and the people. Um, it's an important part of growing and it's an important part of growing at Urban Roots London.